Jeremiah quickly 51. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20 as we keep on standing. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. Hallelujah. As we keep on standing. Jeremiah 51 verse 20. I read, it said, Thou art my battle axe. Thou art my battle axe. And weapons of war. For with thee I will break in pieces the nations. And with thee I will destroy the kingdom. Can we read it together? Jeremiah 51 verse 20. One to go. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. God's desire right from the beginning is to manifest himself in man. So that through man he can do wonders. God's strongest desire is to seek for hidden vessels that he can pass through. I pray that this month that God has declared to us as our kingdom treasure, may you be qualified to carry God's grace and strength for your generation in the name of Jesus. And by the reason of the death of Jesus, you have been released to receive of him. And I prophesy, no force can deny you of your place. Lift up your hands and begin to tell the Lord and say, Father, I am ready for all that you have for me in this end time, in this season. I will not lose out in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and release your heart tonight. The month is ending. The month is ending. We just have a day remaining. Can you begin to speak to the Lord and say, Father, I don't want to conclude this month empty. Let your word come to pass in my life. Let there be a manifestation of your counsel. It's a month of kingdom treasure. Father, I release my spirit, soul, and body to receive of you. E body, Makutu paparata pase kalododo ije kaparata ta parata ta parata ta I we pray likuta parata ta mase kapa je kapata ta parata ta paradus je kalaba de 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 bo samparyadus leke potama ta mata 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 ma makata pata 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 pa pregedebo in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to say, Father, I refuse to be empty before my generation. Lord, I refuse to be empty. I receive stamina to fulfill my assignment. I receive strength to manifest what you have put upon my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I will not walk through my generation in emptiness. I receive stamina to offload what you are in my life unto my world. In the name of Jesus, I receive capacity to break through every form of darkness in the name of Jesus. I kapata na pata mataba, jeke bota na pata pata parada, leke posa pata ne pa breda neano, leke pata na para kapa bregedos, leke ba brede de bosa prata na matea, e rapata na mada da 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 da, jeke de 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 Leke te 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 Leke patana ba ratara ba E raka patana ma de gede 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 Je gede 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 Reke te ke te ke te Thank you Jesus Say with me my father my father By the power of your spirit I ask of God for divine help In every aspect of my life that in this mode of divine treasure my life will be highly valued that everything that intercepts your value in my life whatever content with your glory in my life be consumed by fire I command every satanic shaft over my glory be blown up by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus can I hear the loudest amen? amen? Lift up those two hands. You are the battle axe of God. Weapons of war. I prophesy that God will use you in this generation. I speak over you that God will make you a blessing to the family you come from. 
I prophesy that what eat up the foundations of your family cannot eat up your own. What contends with members of your family cannot contend with your glory. What destroys the progress of others cannot contend with your progress. In the name of Jesus, I speak that every environmental challenges around you be consumed. I ask that the angels God has released on your behalf, we fight every secret war in your territory. Your environment will not swallow you. Your environment will not swallow you. Your environment will not swallow you. Your light shall shine in every darkness, and every darkness in your environment shall disappear on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, you will not break down at your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, you will not break down at your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, receive divine capacity and stamina to cross every line of life, to cross every boundary of life. You are a barrier breaker. You are unstoppable. Everyone appointed to distract you and confuse you shall be frustrated. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever has been planted to uproot you shall be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, whatever be planted to fight you shall be uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Please look at your neighbor as you have your seat. Tell your neighbor, I'm a barrier breaker. I am unstoppable. Can I hear the loudest? Amen. Today, like I said, we'll be quite fast so that we can be able to come here tomorrow morning for the destiny empowerment that will usher us to the month of June, a very strong prophetic month that God has declared as our month of divine stamina. Praise God. Hallelujah. Very quick while we're going to continue from where we stopped last Monday. And my intention today, like I announced during the morning session of Destiny Empowerment, is that we'll pray on individuals' communion. You know, one of the challenges I have in instructions like that, it is when you are true and you've almost shared the grace, you see some say, I, I came late, can you still pray on it? And so, once I'm true, this uh, evening, anyone that comes late, tell the person, bring out your communion and stretch your hands on that communion and pray on my behalf. Is that okay? You are looking at me so strange. Did I say anything strange? As I'm going to pray on your own communion, I'm going to pray for you, and we will take our communion and pray all the prophetic prayers. There are some who have not arrived. Once they arrive, look at their hand and ask them, do you come with your communion? You say, yes. On behalf of the man of God, I pray on your communion right now. Agree? All right, so let's go ahead. Praise God. Hallelujah. Quickly, John chapter 7, verse 38. John 7, 38. We just want to, as fast as we can, pray and take some declaration over the communion. And if you're not here, just get something, except you raise up your hands as a contact and take it when you get to them. But we just want to pray on it and take it here. We said, bring it yourself. We announced it last week and we reminded you today. Praise God. All right, John 7, verse 38, he said, He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Talking about the Holy Spirit. So what he's saying there is that the Holy Spirit residing in you bring out a push of life. So if your belly brings out rivers of living water, it is not meant for you to drink. It is for others to fetch. Are we together? And so if your belly shall produce rivers of living water by the Holy Spirit, which means nothing should be dead in you. Amen? Life is a symbol of the flow of that rivers. And so, by the reason of this understanding, I will pray on your communion by reminding us the following, that food in the spirit realm could represent 
a seal of a covenant. When Israel were to leave the, the uh, Egypt to go for the promised land, God asked them to kill a lamb and make an unleavened bread and eat it in a hurry. And so that powered them because that lamb uh, represents Jesus himself, the lamp of God that was slain from the foundation of the earth. And so he said, every family should take it. Every family should take it. A family that is quite small and they can't afford it should join with others. It was an instruction for movement for life. And that must have been the reason why some died, others survived. There were many who couldn't see the promised land, but some entered. You will enter where God is taking you to. I say you will enter where God is taking you to in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now we said that food in the spirit realm, physically or in the dream, could stand as a contact point for warfare. People have eaten food and lost their mind. People have eaten food and have different battles. So I can't go back to all the subjects we treated along that line last week. We are believing God that as we take the communion, something we push out of someone. Whatever is not of God in you, we give way. Lift up your hands and say, my father, my father, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Go ahead as you begin to bless your life. Begin to speak to yourself. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Please put your hand on your boy and begin to prophesy, begin to ask for a release of the supernatural. Mapa Baba Brokoto Shafa Tayados. Li Kapa Brita Tuta Pucha Pura Dios. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, for the sake of those who were not around last week, let me quickly put in this as fast as we can. That when you observe, we said, we discovered that it's not just only eating the dream, but people have been afflicted through physical food they ate. They didn't die instantly, they ate it. They didn't have health issues. Nothing showed that anything was wrong. So, then after the following symptoms, we do encourage people to pay attention to. But understand that by the reason of this scripture and by the communion you are going to take today, your bower is not to react to any evil food. Your amen is too low. Because there's no way you can be too careful except God speaks to you and says, don't eat that food. There's no way you can be too careful to know a food that has been polluted or a food that enchantment or despair has been cast on. It's not possible. And that is why we must be led by the Spirit of God. I had this very painful story of a man of God. I'm sorry to bring it up, but I will code it. You know, and uh, I'll seal it so that the identity would be known. Um, who went for a government function in this land, in this state? And according to him, when they got through, he said, let that few of them were caught in. And a special dinner was served for them. And he said he had nothing in his mind he never suspected anything who, 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 could, who could do anything strange there. So his mind never crossed anything at all. Nothing was in his mind at all. He said, but as soon as they sat, someone was asked to pray on the, on the meal while they were at the table. He had a voice very clear, do not eat of this food. And meanwhile, there are various cutlery and everything. Has been, you know, when you are ready to eat, you balance. He has already balanced and uh, was set for the prayer for him to begin the journey of enjoying the meal. So as soon as he had that, he struggled for about five, ten minutes. Even when people began and all, he was still struggling. Should I eat? Should I not eat? A voice said, prayer has been prayed on him. Go ahead. 
I've discovered when the spear is cast on the food, it could be targeted. Group of people could eat the same food, only the person targeted will have their afflictions. These are things you can't explain to people with ordinary surface spiritual understanding. Because I didn't hear this story elsewhere. I heard it directly from him. When the torment began, it was at the point of death. Somebody said, he should call me as fast as he can. And the way he called, it never sounded that he was about to die. We fixed an appointment. The next thing I tried to reach and uh, to see how we can conduct the deliverance, I learned he has passed on. I said, what? That food took his life. As soon as he ate it, he said it's as if something was poured on him from head to toe. He tried to manage himself, pray, and did all. He said, he had it. Don't eat. When God is silent and it is poison spiritually, it means nothing will happen to you. So when you eat such, it can't do you anything. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So how to bring that in so that you understand the place of a self? Because God is a God of order. Amen. God could choose and say, the only way I'm saving you, don't eat. A very popular servant of God who had gone to be with the Lord, you know, robbers came to his house and uh, he told the robbers to start to fight themselves and they fought themselves and he opened the door and asked them to run away. In another instance, they came and he came out of the door and I said, all of you, you will not see me and you will not see where you are going to. And they started wondering it in the morning until he asked his servant to lead them out. So there was a day, another group of armed robbers came, it happened in Benin City, and they heard the voice of God said, jump the window and run. He said, ah, but the Lord, the Lord said, I said jump the window and run, that is my rescue. So he jumped the window and ran. The robbers searched for him. They, didn't even, they were not conscious of the back side of the house. And they ran. So God has diverse ways. Reverend Dr. Mark Bash shared this. He said he, he had an engagement and he told his driver to come very early. And the driver came at the right time. And they got set. And as he was about to enter into the car, God said, go back to your room and sleep. You know that man, his instruction could be so strange. You, sometimes when he's talking, you'll be wondering, is he a human being the way we are? God said, Uma, go back to your room and sleep. He said, sleep? I just have one hour to get there. And uh, it, it is when I arrive, I just have 10, 20 minutes. He struggled and struggled in the city room. God said, go back, Uma, and sleep. <sighs> he refused to sleep, but he just sat down and said, okay. Anytime God said, I should go, I, I will go. They started dozing on the chair. And the driver will come. Sir, I will not go in. He will say, go when I'm set, I'll call you. I will not go in. the the told the driver, you are my driver. Don't pester me. He said, but the time he said, no, when I'm set, I'll let you know. So when the God said, when the God said, when the time came, God said, you can go. And they left. Into the journey, 35 minutes to the journey, they saw people killed by arm robbers. This is a man, they brought acid to, and they said, drink it. As you claim to be a man of God. And he drank it. He was looking at them. Nothing happened to him. He has had strange things around his life. God has diverse ways of intervention. So you cannot constrain God. How you want him to move on your behalf. Please tell your neighbor in the name of Jesus. Hear God and hear him well. Alright. These are the following symptoms. When you eat food. Sacrifice. Uh, when you eat food that is polluted. Um, that can have influence on you. Number one, it is possible you begin to feel a strange presence over you immediately you eat it. Strange presence around you or over you immediately you take such meal. Or drink, it could be drink. I think I touched this last, but I just want to re-emphasize it for those who are not here. Praise God. Number two, that to feel sick. When you wake up and you find that you ate food in the dream and you are beginning to feel sick or very uncomfortable, that food has an evil contact. What should you do? Command the influence to get out of you immediately. Number three, when you are having movement over your body, just from the time you ate a particular meal, 
you started feeling some movement over your body. Sometimes doctors will say it's an allergy. From allergy, they will explain different things. They would ask you to adjust and adjust. But from time to time, something moves over your body. It's a sign you have eaten a contaminate. What is moving your body is called demonic deposit or demonic poison. Lift up your hands above your head. Say, my father, my father. I command every influence of darkness over my system. Disappear by fire. In the name of Jesus. Apart from this basic symptom, there are many other indicators which it is very possible is not traceable to the food that was eaten either in the dream or in the physical. But when you begin to experience some of these things, find out if you have eaten food in the dream before it started. Strange infirmity. Infirmity that defines all manner of medication and that defines diagnosis. There are infirmities, they, they know this person is sick, but there is no medical establishment of what the sickness is. It's a sign that sickness has a demonic covering. The person is sick, but nothing is discovering what is responsible. They, they are not even knowing what the sickness is. The secondly, it is possible they've established what the sickness is, but the person is not responding to the right medication. So sometimes it will not really show that it is connected with what the person ate some time ago. Uh, well, in counseling or personally, you need to find out when this illness started. Did I eat in the dream? So that could help. So there are others who have eaten such in the dream or satanic, uh, satanically physical poisoned food that just found themselves since they ate it, they started having loss of favor. Since they ate it, they started getting true frustrations. Since they ate it, they started having insanity, unbalanced mind, and so on and so forth. So tonight, like I said, we're going to pray on our communion. If you came with us, please stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Lift it up, Father, we pray for this contact. Turn it to the body of Jesus. Let it be blessed and let it become a seal for the communion of the body of Jesus. As we take it, let life enter into your people. Amen. Let demonic battle in their body system be arrested. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bind every contention over your body system. Amen. As you take this bread, I ask that it become a source of miracle to your body system. Amen. Lift up the wine or the cup, whatever you brought. We pray for this wine. We ask, we pray for this drink. We ask that it become is a, a power influence that flushes your system from every evil debris. In the name of Jesus. This is the blood of Jesus. As you take, we say you are taking the communion of the body and of the blood of Jesus. Please take now. All right, you are quickly going to pray with me together and say in the name of Jesus. I have the life of Jesus in me. And therefore command inside of me whatever is not of God in my body system. Pack your load. Go in the name of Jesus. Go ahead now and minister to yourself. Go ahead and minister to yourself. Go, 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 go. Shabala da 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 da. Likotona pariatole godaba. Zikaria to leke to ne brede de bosa. In the name of Jesus, put your right hand in your bow and say, "Out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water." I command every spirit of death, wherever you are hanging in my body system, back your Lord. Get out of my body. Get out of my system. Get out of my family foundation. Go! Go ahead, write them out now. Mara, to, 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 to. He caught a map for a ton of mother. She come out to the Koraba Dada. He come out to the Gadiga Togada. Are we praying? Ziga da 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 da. 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 Hey, 
Hey, ba ba da ba ra 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 da. Lu tu 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 mamba. Kaluta la bagos. Igele bata ma mada bata. Shigo do 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 do. Shigo do 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 do. Shigo do 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 do. Lege do 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 do. Lege do 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 do. Yege do 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 do. Yege do 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 do. Reke do 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 do. Leke do do do. In the name of Jesus, say with me: every contact of weakness, wherever you are in my body, sister, I bind you now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Pack your load. Go, 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 go. Go ahead, go ahead, drive them out. Every contact of weakness in your bloodstream, in your body, I drive them out. Go. Shakwapatayada. Come out. Go. Go, 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 go. Kalabada do 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 do. Say with me every infirmity that came into my body system through eating the dream or in the physical. I bind you now. Pack your load. Get out of my body. Go now. Go ahead. Drive them. Drive them. Shabado dos. Go. He covered the bada 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 bush. Shekete de de de. Ekalabantos. Lekutu. Malagados. Kileke tune kide 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 kide. Legre kide de 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 de. Shaka ta 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 ta. Come out every family. Every disease, every sickness, I bind you. Go! Get out! Li kalabandos, li kalabandaba. Go now! Say the name of Jesus. Every weakness in my bones, in my mind, I bind you. Pack your load. Go! Yes, they are going. They are going. They are going. They are going. And go out. Sukara Bados. In Jesus' name. Now take a deep breath in and out as you breathe in the life of God, as you breathe in the breath of the Holy Spirit, and connect the contact of the communion you have taken inside of you. And I command whatever is fighting you, whatever is tormenting you, whatever is harassing you, wherever they are in your body, pack your load now. Go. Yes, Britain and Britain, they are going. The British money deposit, I bind you. Go. Shaparato. Out. Yes, yes, they are going. Come out. Now. Yes, yes, they are going. Come out. I release fire. Go. Go out of her. Get out of her. Get out of her. Let her go. Go. The name of Jesus. Britain and Britain, they are going out. Shapaladada. Go. They are going. Britain and Britain, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every family in you. Go. Now on your head, come out. Every disfavor. Every arrow of torment shot over your personality. I approve them now. I command their infection over you. Disappear now. Go. Yes, they are going. They are going. Put your hand on your head, everyone. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. We ask that whatever is not of God, pack your load and go. Go now. Out. Go. Go. Ma porito zi carios zi kabata porados. Yes, they are going. Come out. Thank you, Father. Say, I receive the breath of fire of the Holy Ghost inside of my body, inside of my sister. My body is not a waste bin for the enemy's transaction. I carry fire. 
inside of me. In Jesus name. Can I hear that loud as amen. Alright be seated and let's trust the Lord in the next 40 minutes. Quickly Mark chapter 16. Verse 18. Mark 16. Just verse 18 on the contact will be taken today. Last time we took the spare contact of eating the dream. And today we are taking another one. Hallelujah. Mark 16. Praise God. Today we'll be looking at the spare contact of the hand. And we'll be very fast as fast as we can. Take all the notes you need to take. You can also go through my book, Break That Spare. That is where I'm teaching from. Everything is right there. Mark 16. I just read only verse 18. Or oh, let me add up verse 17 so that you understand where it's coming from. He said, and this sign shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils? They shall speak with new tongues. Now verse 18. He said, they shall take up serpent and if they drink anything deadly, it shall not hold them. This is where we took the last contact from. Uh, now the contact for today said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover he didn't say they shall pray over the sick because when it comes to praying over the sick you could stand with and lay hands you could say the word you could say it. but he said they shall carry their hands and put on top of the sick it's possible not to utter a word he said they shall recover so which means the hand, the contact of the transfer of influence in the supernatural. The hand can transfer and the hand can receive. The hand can give and the hand can receive, can collect. So it is very possible through hand contact, healing is being transferred. It is also possible through hand contact, affliction could also move out. That is why the hand is the most powerful contact. When the coronavirus issue came up, it said, step number one before any other thing, don't shake anybody. So they are saying that shake it, it will transfer the virus. And they are saying through shaking hand, I mean, through the hand also, they say you can also collect it, not only transfer, collect. So they said, wash your hand. The next step they say people should always take, wash your hand. So they are saying the first contact of the virus is through the hand and can also be received from the hand. So that is human analysis. In the spirit realm, it is so. The hand can transfer a blessing. And the hand can receive a blessing. The hand also can transfer a spare. And the hand also can receive a spare. One of the things about transference of spirit, it is actually determined by the stamina and the strength of the person influencing the higher vessel, influencing the lesser one. And that is why the only answer to every form of spare contact is spirituality and ruggedity. Why did I say so? It is very possible somebody has made enchantment on his hand and said, once I shake her, let her be confused. And the person comes and shakes you and the person is afflicted. We have seen that happen. We've had stories. Praise God. We have stories of an elderly man in a community uh, this man of God loves his people from time to time he goes home and by gifts all his elders and so there was this elder that felt this small boy you are becoming an influence in this village I will finish you so when he had he was coming he went to an evil altar and spoke to his hand and spoke to his head and spoke to his body and said he will surely come and bow down to me and as a Yoruba person does it you can't avoid that you must bow down to your elders and when he bows down to me what he planned as he bows down to him he will use his hand to carry him and say my son my son you are welcome but then he will cast a spare that he has put on his hand 
And so as the man of God actually came, went to Baba, Baba, he greeted him. As he said, let me carry my son, you are welcome. Baba with his Agbada tumbled, somersaulted. It is not even back, bra. So he now got up to help Baba. Baba fell the second time. The third time he said, don't touch me, you are the one following me. I'm trying to help you. He said, no, 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 don't help me. You want to kill me, my son? He said, but like how? Confession began. Baba's brain turned. Started confessing how he has been angry that he's becoming an influence in the community. I decree that those who disregard the God you serve and want to attempt you, they shall die by fire. Ah, they shall be corrected by fire. By the judgment of fire. In the name of Jesus. There are three most important parts of human body. Number one, your head, your hand, and your feet. These three parts of your body, whenever anything goes wrong with any of them, your destiny could be truncated. Your head is where you have your eyes. It is with your eyes you easily receive fast. It is with your eyes. You can also have a contact also. I will talk about that maybe this time. We're talking about contact of the head. The ear. You see in Ezekiel, he said as he spoke to me, something entered me. So as I was hearing, something entered me. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing by... So there are a lot of people, many things has entered them because of what they kept on listening to. Because of what they kept on feeding themselves with. So, the contact of the head, you have the face, the eyes, the ears. We will not talk about that today. The contact of the hand, which we are talking about today, and the contact of your feet. We will talk about feet specially. But anything that goes wrong with any of these three aspects of your body, whether in revelation or in physical, it affects your destiny. We will explain them in detail as we proceed. Hallelujah. But let's look at the positive aspect of the hand as we deal with the spare interference of it. So that any of you in one way or the other, somebody has, you know, contacted your hand by shaking your hand. And the person has spoken that as I shake his or her hand, let money never stay in that hand. Or as I shake that hand, let he or she not able to gather for life. You know you have capacity, but you are not gathering. Or as he gathers, let him not see the joy and the fruitfulness of what is gathering. You know you have. You know you are gathering. You know money is coming. You know your what. But at the end of the day, you cannot connect what is on ground with all that comes. This could be outcomes of spells. We live in an evil world that the level of jealousy and envy is too high. Especially in Africa here. Do you know that sometimes in the whole community there could be a spiritual battle? Whose sons is going to rise up first? And any son that looks as if he's moving faster in any family, they quickly find all they could do to cut them short. We live in an evil world. And that is why there's a reign of aggression you must get yourself to in messages like these to break things. To break things. Whether you perceive it or not, just break things in advance. Just handle things in advance. I prefer fighting in advance battle than waiting for the battle. Fight it in advance. So that when you get to that point, you walk through. Lift up your two hands. I prophesy to you, you will not lose any battle this year. In the name of Jesus. Number one, your hands represent fruitfulness. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 7. It says, for the Lord thy God has blessed thee in all the works of the hands. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 7. Your hands represents fruitfulness. So, if you have a dream that something went wrong with your hand, it could just be the enemy is telling you, we have attacked your progress in life, your fruitfulness in life. So, it represents fruitfulness. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. It also represents strength in battle. Psalms 18 verse 34, it says, he teaches my hands to war. So that a ball of steel is broken by my arm. Psalms 18 verse 34. He 
teacheth my hand to war so that a bowl of steel is broken by my arm. I think somewhere is this Psalm 144, so uh, either for verse 1 or something like that. He said, He has taught my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Your hand represents strength. We notice that in your dream, you are not able to lift up something. In your dream, you are not able, you are gathering things, they are falling out of you, and they are just telling you that your strength in any battle you are going to come in will not be enough to carry you. Lift up your two hands. I baptize these hands today that these hands will no longer see shame. Yeah. Every power contending with these hands we destroy them and their troubles in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 18 verse 35 which also represents strength to prevail in battle. He said, Thou hast also given me, and he said, Thou also given me the sheet of thy salvation. Psalms 18 35. And thy right hand had holding me, and thy gentleness had made me great. So God's hand holding your hands, it means you are prevailing. Hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. God spoke himself to Cyrus. In Isaiah 45 from verse 1, he said, Thus said the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him. And I will lose the lions of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. Hallelujah. And the gates shall not be shut. Why? Because he's holding his hand. May God hold your hand. I said, may God hold your hand. May the hand of God be stronger in you. Much more above every hand walking against you in the name of jesus christ so let's look at how they use the spell of the hand to affect people number one i've said it partly before the spell of handshake 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 i'm not saying because of this from now I'll be putting your hand in your pocket that's what i'm saying amen feel free like me it's like a habit i easily you know, shake people's hands. So don't fear. That's why carry fire. Tell your neighbor, carry fire. Carry fire. Can I hear the loudest? Amen. A vibrant fellowship, very popular fellowship. Years ago, they are Lagos chapter. And because people that are there are businessmen and women, so the enemy thought. They only know how to talk about money. They don't know what is called warfare. <laughs> but somehow, when they try to penetrate the fellowship, they just discover that their chapter president, the man is tough spiritually. They couldn't, once the man stands, fire is everywhere spiritually. They said, okay, since he's tough and he's still making money, I like that kind of testimony. He's tough spiritually and he's still counting money. We will frustrate him. Let's leave fellowship alone. Let us face him. If we deal with him, he will face reproach in his business and the fellowship will shake. And so they appointed a very senior satanic officer from their territory and said, you too, you are a businessman. Go in, be a friend to him, be nice to him the first time, insist you like to be close to him so that you become friend. Begin to see how you can deal with him. Well, it's a very simple. And so, he prepared his charms that as soon as he gets into the fellowship, he will first of all confuse the usher so that they can sit him in a strategic position, especially at the front, so that he can be gazing at the president when he's talking or preaching. So, as soon as he finishes, he gets to him to introduce himself better apart from their general introduction as a fellow businessman. So, everything was planned. And the God himself said, Came through the back door. And you know, ushers those days, I don't know if they have changed now, especially in that fellowship. When usher greet you alone, you are so satisfied that you forget that you came for fellowship. The way they will treat you and greet you and welcome you, you feel so special. You don't even feel like the service should close. Amen. I hope we still have ushers like that. Uh -huh. Not ushers that call people like traffic warden. This one, they will come to you, they will shake your hand. Their smile alone 
We intimidate you before they now direct you. Please follow me. Not the other one will do like this. You're not a traffic whatever. Eh? Greeting. Take him. And so the ushers, as usual, they've been trained. Run to this man. You are welcome, sir. You are welcome, sir. And shook the man. He came to see how he can set himself and start to relate with the head of the fellowship. And maybe from shaking and all of those things, you will deal with him. You see, this God is always God. So God had to deal with him from the least. So as he came in, the usher ran in. You know, you don't expect usher to be spiritual. You understand? So they thought so, usher. So he was not even set for that. It was a big surprise. How you are welcome, sir? How are you, sir? As soon as the usher shook his hand, the man collapsed. They tried to help him. He stood. He said, nobody should touch me again. He said, okay, what's the problem? He said, electricity flows. You think something shocking somewhere in this place. I want to go. When they saw the way, they said, okay, you are not going. Tell us what brought you. Started ministering deliverance. There was no service that day. In fact, their testimony and everything was that man's deliverance. Because he started confessing and behaving like a madman. And after the deliverance, he must have confessing. Ah, that was the testimony they needed for that day's service. I speak to someone here, when power just power on your behalf, your enemies will collapse. <laughs> Say with me, my father, my father, every contending power assigned to disgrace me, I command shame to come upon them. Go ahead and begin to decree. Ma para da da da. Shaka pa. So pa le to namus. He bere ke de 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 de. Je ke de 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 de. Ma pa da. Roto 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 roto. Shaka pa ta 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 ta. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, let me cut off some things so that we can take maybe the last one, the last two one. And uh, pray tonight since we are coming back tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. Tomorrow morning, please come with an olive oil. Be anointing our forehead. Declaring the stamina for the month of June to begin to manifest immediately. Praise God. So another way they can spare is through giving and receiving of gifts. Or money, stroke money. Giving and receiving of gifts, stroke money. Please, I want to beg us. Let us warn our children how they receive gifts. Especially from those they don't know. Even those they know. Let them take it with, you know, consciousness. Especially if such they know is not too close to the family. Teach them that. Tell them that. Very important. Amen. We live in a world where stars are being exchanged through gifts. We live in a world where people are being brainwashed or hypnotized through what is. I've seen people, they gave a gift of money. They kept on giving money, kept on giving money. They lost their senses and their direction and they went into relationship and it was after some time they realized that they were hypnotized through the gifts. Yes. Giving and receiving of gifts. Be careful. Especially gifts that connect with clothing and all of those things. If you are not comfortable with the source, please warn your children not to collect. They can collect but they should let you know. Are we together? I hope you are not being, I'm not scaring you or making you to be afraid of human beings. You don't need to be afraid and that is why you need fire in you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. Gifts are meant to be a source of blessing to relationship. But there are evil men and women who have turned it to a point of battle. Even the one innocent mind give out. Has become a source of battle. We've seen people that gave out money to people, and that money was taken to a coven, taken to an altar to run down their businesses. Yes. We have seen people because they gave someone money. 
They took the money to the coven. And that was the end of their financial destiny. So giving is giving. It's both sides. Giving and receiving. So even when you want to give money and you're, you're, you are feeling somehow, speak over the money. Command the money to be a messenger for you. Are we together? Speak over. Don't wave it aside. But don't live in fear, please. Because I notice one thing with fear. Fear opens door for more influences of bondage. Fear is a door opener for bondage. So fear makes you not to be whom God wants you to be. Fear limits you. And so we don't teach fear here, but we share revelations on how to prevail. Praise God. I say praise the Lord. I want to share with you an experience I had with a family some years ago. Their, for the, their first delivery was a steel bath, and the steel bath was strange. On the seventh month, the baby will be okay. Going to the eighth month, the moment is crossing into the end of the eighth month, the baby will die in the womb. They will not bring the baby out. It happened the second time. On the third time, somebody advised them to seek for deliverance. They started going for deliverance. They were still in Abuja. And they also came to us. We prayed, we conducted deliverance. And we concluded that the right prayer has been prayed. So that nobody suspected any other thing. So I think, is it on the third, on the fourth uh, uh, pregnancy? As he was getting to the seventh month, going into the eighth month, the Lord told me, he said, go and have a vigil in their house. I said, vigil? But Lord, everything is true. The Lord said, everything is true, but one thing is still remaining. I said, one thing? All right, I just felt God want us to pray more. I spoke to someone, we both went together. And we prayed. From about, I think, 12 uh, a.m., 1 a.m., to going to 3 a.m., as we were praying, I saw a flash of a cloth. The cloth flashed through my face. I said, cloth? We started praying. I raised a prayer point. Every contact of evil cloth, we were just praying. But the thing kept, it's as if the more we were praying, the more it kept on coming. When we finished praying, we sat down. I asked them, was there any cloth that was demanded during your traditional wedding? I thought it was that. They said, no. Did they put cloth on the ground and did something or whatever and somebody collected? They said, no. What could it be? The Holy Spirit said, the gift of a cloth. Cloth material. I said, gift of a cloth material? I asked her, was any such gift given to you? As soon as I said that, she screamed. I said, yes! And I said, why the screening? He said, it was my best friend that gave it to me. Though we are not, they say, it's not of our religion. I said, how close? He said, my best friend. And as she was saying that, she screamed again. She looked at the husband and said, Honey, that my uniform, that cloth you call uniform. As they gave her that demonic cloth by casting a spell on it, as if that was the only gift of cloth material she received, that same demon now pushed her and said, This cloth will be good for maternity gown. So the horseman had called that cloth, cloth that had stayed for one year, two years, three years, four years. The horseman had nicknamed that cloth as uniform. While she's pregnant, that is what she likes wearing every evening. Except she wash it. Once anything has happened, no pregnancy, she will drop it. Pregnancy started. So the husband had called the cloth a uniform. As soon as she screamed and said that, Tears was almost dropping from the husband's eyes. Why? The wife's best friend gave the wife a demonic cloth to be killing babies in the womb. Do you know the pain? Miscarriage is just a small thing compared with stillbirth. Stillbirth, the pain, the danger that woman will go through is almost like losing her life. Because they want to bring out the baby and the baby doesn't have strength to pull out. They have to help her. In most cases, they want to tear her open to bring the baby out for our safety. We live in a wicked world. I decree that every secret enemy that is a friend to you who want to see you dead, they shall die. Every secret friend that is behind your pain, God will disgrace them. Jehovah will disgrace them. They shall die will disgrace them. In the name of Jesus. 
As, as soon as that was discovered, the husband said, please, sir, can we burn it now, now, now? I said, let day break. He said, no, sir, it's this night. I said, but it's still early. So we brought it out. As we were about to burn it, the man said, sir, people are wicked. Let me play our reception video and see this my wife's best friend. I said, okay, put it. I was happy at least that would delay time so that they would break small. So they're watching. Beloved, the way this lady gave this woman the clothes, you know that it was a spare. As if everybody was busy, she wanted to pass. It was through her back. She just, take, 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 take. And when I saw that, I said, Lord, what's the meaning? He said, she, 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 she already informed her in advance. I will not see you carry a child. That was why I turned to face her place of the womb and gave her the clothes in that direction. Today, I command your deliverance. I command divine intervention in the name of Jesus Christ. What about the couple I share with you that the woman was buried after many years of marriage and that they came to meet a man of God. The man of God said, what is responsible for you not to carry pregnancy? It's in your house. The woman, you know women are? Huh? The woman said, sir, we don't have our sepal. He said, I didn't say house sepal. But what is making you not to be pregnant? It's in your house. And they said, well, after counseling, I will follow you, myself and my team, to your house to pray. And they went into the house. As soon as they arrived, they got into the city room. As the man of God walked towards the center, the Lord told him, look back. And they looked back and raised his head. Behold, he saw a picture frame. You know this picture frame now? They normally put happy married life and all of those things. You know, you, you don't buy them again, I understand. Uh-huh. So, they put it there because the frame looks so beautiful. The man of God told them, bring it down with your hands. Get a scissors or a razor blade by yourself. Got the scissors and they told the man, tear the back. He said, he told the man, I won't touch it. Tear the back. And they tore the back. Only for them to see a big charm wrapped perfectly put behind that happy married life and sealed. And they said, go and destroy it. There is no prayer to be prayed. The prayer has been answered. Why don't destroy it? Two months later, the woman took it and that was how she started having her first pregnancy. Stand to your feet. Uh, I want you to begin to say, my father, my father. I am a blessing. And anything that comes into my hand must be blessed. I therefore decree and I declare that every evil interception over my blessing be arrested. I release my hand as a contact of power against every evil contact. In the name of Jesus, any gift that has entered into my hand that is blocking my progress. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Go ahead and begin to pray. Receive fire. Shakwa pa ta 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 ta. Zoparada de de bo satayadas. Ika ma patona brenda de bo saparados. Liko vade de de bo de de bo de de bo de de bo. Zige de 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 Say with me in the name of Jesus. Whatever is holding my hand, true past handshake, true past handshake, true gifts I receive or give out. Whatever is holding my hand, whatever is holding my fruitfulness, today your tenor expires. Go ahead and begin to decree the tenor expires. The tenor expires, 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 expires. Shaka ta 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 ta. Your tenor expires. Eko da 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 da. Shaka da 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 da. Zepra tora brinda repa zepra ta. 
Jeka la batoli yoboriyo. Leko bade godabo de gebosha. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch those eyes and say with me, my hand is a carrier of God's fire and presence. These hands cannot receive trouble. Cannot receive any spare. This hand is powered to stop every evil hand. And this hand is blessed to bless. In Jesus name. Whatever my hand shall touch, it shall prosper. Can I hear the loudest? Amen. Go ahead and begin to appreciate God and begin to bless God because there is a restoration of your hand. Restoration of your blessings. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Can I hear the loudest? Amen.